I just had to put this video on. The music in the background is my wife singing, and I wanted you guys to hear her sing. And her friend from uh, at the bottom. Thought you'd like to see or hear that. She wouldn't want me to take this, but I'm doing it anyway. She was singing some beautiful songs earlier. A beautiful rainy day. If it's rain, it's okay. If it's sun, it's okay. Gray skies. It's going to be gray skies all day today. Oh. My eyes aren't as black today. Um, our solar died. One of our solars died. Products from China just don't last. I just bought that. Paid uh, $50 for it. It lasted a year. I'll show you the light, that one. If you see, oh, see the little man right there? You stay. Don't you dare try to. <laughs> you stay. Stay. I can see him jumping out of the way. Don't need to deal with that. I better go over here. Because he heard me. I can see that little dog jumping off there, too. Yeah, it's a beautiful day. I didn't get to do my walk today because it's raining. And uh, I'm not a fan of... Uh, Actually, I'm not a guy that takes an umbrella and walks with an umbrella. I don't know why. What, is it too macho? Not really. Just I've never walked an umbrella in my life. I, 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 have I had an umbrella? Yeah, when it's sleeting in Buffalo. I will have an umbrella, believe it or not. Does it hurt? Um, no, normally I don't have an umbrella. We got probably a couple dozen around here around. But I don't use them. The girls use them all the time. And the sun's out, they use them. But I just did a podcast. Uh, if, you, if people are still watching this, um, be careful on buying land here. Story lady, uh, OFW trying to get uh, some property here. Somebody took a property, squatted on it, took the trees, cut the trees up, then planted uh, sugar cane on her property, and she's gone OFW. So what do you do? Trouble. Somebody squatted on your land? You almost, you lose it. So as I said over here, there's roosters and things on this yard over here. These people don't own this property. So the neighbor over there and the neighbor over there puts all these roosters here. They don't own it. But they build a piece of property here, it's theirs. And you have to really fight to get them off. It's really a lot of work to get them off. You just, it's a, it's a process. You can't, it's not like the stage and call the police and get them off your own property, but not, not here. You can't do that. You can't just go throw someone off the property here. So again, you get involved with the title and the deed and the brungai and the meetings and this, that, and other. And a year goes by, you might get some type of results, but it's not a normal result that you would think. It's uh, a little different here. You gotta have to be prepared for stuff like that. So when you buy something here, you gotta be prepared for that. Another thing you gotta be prepared for. My friend bought a condo, went back to the States, his wife's living in a condo, uh, paid cash for it. Uh, the, the condo association fees monthly was, I don't know, nominal, they had to pay every month. You know, trash and things like that, it's like 10 bucks, 20 bucks a month. They went up, they got a bill now. They now have to pay 200 a month from here on out until. Uh, the reason why the condos went up is because they don't own the land. All these one oasis, all these guys, they don't own the land. And the people that own the land, the lease is up. And so what they did was they went in and said, okay, uh, we have to go up on our rent. So everybody in the buildings, however many is in there, they have to pay two, $200 a month from here on out. They must have went up a lot, right? So he said, why did I buy that condo? He said, I bought it so I don't have to pay any payments. I bought it so I don't have to have anything. Well, guess why? He's going to make payments on it now at least uh, $200 a month until it's in the lease that they can, they can charge a fee 
a reasonable fee. Well, a reasonable fee could be anything and any, you know. So anyway, now he has to pay for his condo. And he was thinking about buying another one and renting it out. But that changed that tune. He said, no. Nope. So uh, that's a sad situation, very sad situation. Not only that, you just, you have to watch everything, everything. Is it, the, it's the norm. It's the norm here. It's just the way it is. Uh, things don't stay the same all the time here. Or the states, that kind of don't either, but you're protected. You have rights. Here, you got rights. Uh, maybe. Maybe not. You have to really think about it. My, uh, another story I just did a podcast on. It's on my podcast channel. But another story I did a podcast on was a uh, guy coming here, got married. Uh, the father gave him some land, come to find out. He doesn't, uh, the father really doesn't own the land. And he thought he did and had it for the last 20 years. So they're getting kicked off the property because the guy sold the brother, brother thing. You guys understand that? The brother, brother, son, all that gets involved in these things. So the brother, it was OFW, seaman. Uh, uh, his brother went and put people on the property and making money on it. Well, he don't own it. So the brother came back and says, get the people off my property. So they have to leave. And so they found a piece of property. He's got to pay $15,000. And there's no house on it and everything else. So he is just beside himself. He was just, I love my wife. I love everything. But he says, I'm working so hard to make money here in the States to make this you know, six or eight hundred dollars a week that he's making, nine hundred a week, he said, some weeks. And he said, I got to pay fifteen thousand for property that they found down the road, and it's a good deal. But then I got to put, then I got to put something on that property. Uh, he says, I, then I got to, well, the house. Nah. I suggested to just go get a couple of Nipah huts. You can go get bamboo houses, thousand dollars each, two bedroom. Uh, we'll get a couple of those bedroom a couple thousand dollars put them on the property and then then them live including your wife wife's pregnant just a bad situation uh you have to be so careful coming here uh, people are uh and these guys that are doing this are young i mean this guy's 30 years old 30 years old and his wife is 21. this is i i I got another 30 years to work and I got to come up now with money. And so I said, yep, I guess. I mean, it's entirely what you want to do. So, of course, what do you do, though? He's bringing it to the States anyway. Uh, that's their goal. He came here to get married, but he said, I got to bring the States. I'm not going to go back and forth 30 years. So that's what he's doing anyway. That was the plan initially, but now he's going to fast track that bad boy. But I want to tell you these stories. Here, my wife. Kind of. All these probably get banned from uh, monetization, as everything seems to do. You blink, and it's why is that? <laughs> why is that demonetized? Well, you don't make a dollar two anyway off a video. I don't care if you have 10,000 views on it. Uh, I did one, uh, I forget what it was. I had 10,000 views on it, and uh, 20,000 views on another one. And. Um, and I go back and look at it, and they cut it back down to 3,000 views, and no one 5,000 views. Don't know why. You too. God bless everybody. I'll see you guys next time on Tom and Ruth Philippine Adventures.